Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on how to score 100 in IIC Mathematics. So this video is going to be on important topics plus my strategy to score good marks plus the previous year questions. Now if I talk about the format of the paper, the paper is for 100 marks out of which 80 marks is your theory plus 20 marks is for your project work. And during my board examination, I had 100 marks paper only for three hours. But you people are lucky that you're getting 80 marks paper and most of the syllabus has been reduced. Talking about section A, it is for 65 marks and section B or section C, whatever you attempt, it is for 15 marks. Now, if uh, you people want an answer that which section to be chosen for examination for your board examination, that is either section B or section C, I would uh, say that if you want to get good marks like if you want that everything should be very easy very convenient for you to solve so you should go for section c it's the these uh, chapters are really very simple and you don't need to like practice them this uh, section can be completed within one week only and if you want to go for section b it is basically tougher in comparison to section c but if you have an interest you can go for section B also since the solutions are very short but in case of section C you have to do a lot of calculation work and that too by the calculator now moving on, the, uh, on to the first chapter relations and functions it comes for 10 marks and we have relations functions and inverse trigonometric functions talking about uh, the important topics reflexive symmetric transitive these are three relations when these are simultaneously added up they are known to be equivalence relation now a question can be framed to prove these relations that prove it is a symmetric relation or maybe they can ask you which or uh, which relation is this right next is onto function one one function now onto function and one one function when they are simultaneously put in together they are, it is called bijective function that is one one onto one one it means injective while on two it means surjective and simultaneously it is called bijective so um, the main case in on two function is that we have to prove it uh, prove the codomain equal to range and still uh, some of the students they are struggling to uh, know about codomain and range i know most of the students they don't know what is actually codomain what is domain range so i've given an example it is f uh, that is from z to r now what is z z is the integers all set of integers r is the real number so z is the domain and r is the codomain actually you have to prove if you want to prove it an onto function then you have to show that the codomain is equal to range and you know how to find the range put the function equal to y then find uh, it in terms of y you will come to know the range moving on to the next uh, is inverse trigonometric it's uh, inverse trigonometric functions and uh, i have not written many topics because each and every formula is very important and one of the formula which is uh, mostly used is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y which is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y and this formula is only applicable when x y is less than 1 so you need to check the condition as well it's not that you're blindly solving the questions you have to first check the condition then only the question can be solved otherwise you will be landing up to a weird answer domain and range of trigonometric functions that is sine cos and tan need to be learned by heart and these domains uh, and ranges they help you to solve the principal value functions questions now moving on to the algebra part it also com comes for uh, 10 marks matrices and determinants these two topics are the most scoring topics in your paper also since uh, determinants it's very easy and matrices you know you have done it uh, from um, like class 10th you, you have an idea how to add subtract and multiply the matrices uh, now the most important part in this is symmetric and skew symmetric matrix the question can be asked that prove a a matrix may be given it will be given actually uh, prove that a equal to like 2 3 1 minus 1 it is a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix and i am sure that you are able to uh, like 
understand whatever I am saying since it's all mathematical terms. So the formula is a equals to half a plus a uh, that is a transpose plus half a minus a transpose. Now what is transpose? Transpose is the interchanging of rows and columns. Second is your Martin's rule and in this uh, rule you have to like put ax equals to b then x equals to a inverse b and all that so you need to have an idea how to find inverse of the matrix the cofactors are adjoint of the matrix also uh, the third is a singular and non-singular matrix i know most of you don't even know what is this and if you know please uh, comment it and it's already given that the determinant of a is equal to zero it's called singular matrix and determinant of a is not equal to zero it's called non-singular matrix and when mod uh, sorry determinant a is not equal to zero then it has a unique solution so we can uh, apply the martin's rule and the matrix can be found by this formula x equals to a inverse b moving on to determinants so uh, you must know how to find the determinant of a matrix and uh, the properties plus the proving questions are all important the previous year questions also and uh, without expanding the determinant is one of the questions which is asked in your examination like i know you people might have answered it orally only in your mind only since whenever this question comes without expanding it means the answer will be zero since you don't have to expand the determinant at any stage and yes uh, one thing i want to tell you is that whenever you solve uh, any question of determinant of, of for around four to six marks you must show at least two to three properties in that proving question otherwise you will not get marks if you only show one property and directly solve it directly expand the ma uh, matrix right so it's important uh, to write around two to three properties in that question if it's of six marks directly expanding can make the determinant more complicated and you might not solve it so uh, that is all for determinants now moving moving on to calculus part calculus part is for 32 marks see 32 marks is crucial so you need to like go through the topics of calculus and try to practice as many questions are possible you can uh, take up the previous year questions solve differentiation integration questions see if i talk about differentiation each and every topic it's like everything is important for you nothing can be left out from this uh, chapter i can't frame out the important ones like the logarithmic differentiation exponential differentiation plus uh, the differentiation of uh, implicit functions the uh, second derivatives and all these uh, topics they are of equal importance so i can't write anything in this and the proving questions are have to be practiced a lot now comes indeterminate form of limits and uh, in this l hospitals theorem is what you have to apply for this question uh, if it comes uh, like it will actually come you have to first see that if it is uh, if it's of the form 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity if it's of any of these forms then you can apply this theorem and it's really an easy topic so you have to write all the steps in your answers when you're writing the solution like it's of 0 0 so i apply l hospital's theorem and let me just give you an example like limit x tends to 0 sine x by x you know uh, the direct answer for this is one but how it comes i'll tell you sine x sine 0 is 0 x is 0 it is 0 by 0 form you will be writing by applying l hospital theorem differentiating the numerator and denominator right and they have to be differentiated separately you don't have to apply any uh, rule like the question rule you have to differentiate them separately after differentiating it we get sine x is equal to cos x and x differentiation is 1. I haven't uh, written limit x tends to 0 here, but it is mandatory to write uh, limit x tends to 0 in every step. So, x is equal to 0 now. Now, cos 0 is equal to 1. The answer is 1. See, you need to have the clarity that you're, you're not having 0 to the power 0 or 
infinity to the power zero any of these forms in your syllabus so it is good to only practice those questions which is in your syllabus next is application of derivatives already two of the topics have been deducted from this chapter and uh, the left out portions are uh, equation or the slopes of tangent normal that is the first exercise if you have that s chance book and the equation uh, of tangent and normal plus the slopes of tangent and normal you need to uh, practice them and increasing decreasing functions now let me just uh, show you the formula when tangent is parallel to x axis then dy by dx is equal to zero and if it's perpendicular to x axis then it will be one by zero which is equal to infinity and if they ask about normal parallel to x axis then you need to know how to find all this moving on to the equation of tangent it is y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 you have done it uh, in your 10th class and 11th also now m m is the slope of tangent and it is equal to dy by dx at x1 y1 the point will be provided in the question now equation of normal what happens in this case uh, the slope it becomes the negative of the reciprocal of slope because m into like m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 right from this formula the slope of uh, this first equation will be equal to minus 1 by m2 so uh, the equation of normal is this where m is equal to dy by dx at x1 y1 if i talk about the increasing decreasing functions you know that uh, when the function is increasing it's increasing when f dash x is greater than zero it's increasing and it's decreasing when f dash x is less than zero now this question uh, it's important finding intervals of functions where it is increasing or decreasing so a question can be framed uh, to find the intervals where a function like the function may be given f of x is equal to uh, 2x cube minus 9x square plus 12x plus 15 i should write this question actually and you can uh, give me the answers in the comment box yes yeah, so this is the question that find the intervals in which the following functions are increasing or decreasing f of x equals to 2x cube minus 9x square plus 12x plus 15 so make sure to solve this question and comment it down so next chapter is yes the next chapter is maxima and minima and in this uh, you have to learn all the mensuration formulas like the volume surface area Mm, curved surface area of cones cylinders spheres hemispheres and all these uh, figures and it's uh, like it can come in your examination that a cylinder is inscribed in a circle so prove that it has a ma maximum volume and some information may be given which you treat as a constant and then you find uh, the relation then you solve so maximum volume find the maximum volume prove that radius is four times that i am uh, sorry the height and all these uh, sort of questions can come so go through the previous year question the isc questions and i think you people should refer uh, the gurukul solved papers book or you can check uh, these question papers these solved question papers of mathematics from uh, google also already a lot of pdfs are available for every year and you can solve the sample paper as well basically uh, boards give you this six marker questions only to prove these maximum uh, volumes and all but uh, you never know what sort of questions can they give in the upcoming examination so you should be prepared for everything now comes integration and integration most of the students they feel that this is the toughest part of mathematics in section a but uh, as such if you practice a lot it will be easy for you now integration by substitution and integration by paths most of the questions come from this only uh, i'm talking about the indefinite integrals part and liet rule that is the logarithmic inverse trigonometric functions algebraic trigonometric exponential this rule has to be followed whenever there are two functions to be integrated never ever uh, do this mistake to apply product rule of differentiation because most of the time the students get confused between differentiation and integration and they apply the reverse rules and formulas so you need to 
have a clear difference between these two topics they're totally different like integration of uh, cos x is sin x but differentiation of cos x is minus sin x right now partial fractions is also important in this numerators degree should be less than the denominator then only you can proceed with the question you can solve it now the next part is the definite integral part and all the properties of definite integrals are to be covered like this formula and these all formulas have to be learned by you this condition is really important that integration of 0 to 2a fx dx is equal to 2 integration of 0 to a fx dx if f 2a minus x is equal to fx right and f of 2a minus x equals to minus fx then the answer will be directly 0 the next is uh, this integration that is integration of 0 to a fx dx it's equal to integration of 0 to a f of a minus x this is the widely used formula in your examination and most of the time it can come in your examination so try to solve the questions from your book based on this formula of integration next is differential equations and the question is already given and you have to trace out which is of it it's of which form if it's uh, the LDE form that is the linear differential equation or variable separable or homogeneous equation right and this question uh, that formation of differential equation by eliminating constants you know how to do this like if there are two constants you have to differentiate the function two times by eliminating the constant the constant should not be there in the final equation so differential equation is all about identifying the type of equation either it is LDE or variable separable or homogeneous equation then you have to solve the same and uh, like this LDE form it often comes in your examination that dy by dx plus by equals to q it is it is of this form and then you have to like find the integrating factor equals to e integration of p dx and all that so you have to have an idea which equation is actually given so that you don't waste your time and don't solve it with the wrong method moving on to probability uh, one question which will definitely come in your examination is the Bayes theorem that is for six marks and this question is really easy to solve you don't have to practice a lot for that but at least uh, five to six questions you must do for that like the previous year questions and rest of the uh, slavers like um, the Bernoulli styles and all have been reduced so the left out portion is all important you can revise it it's not a big deal to do all those like the independent and dependent events the conditional events the laws of probability you can easily do that so this is all for section a in the next video i'll tell you how to solve uh, and get score full marks in section c that will be the part two of the video since it, uh, this video has been very long so i don't want to waste uh, the time and in that video only i'll share my strategy plus my reference textbooks and the online online websites i preferred to solve all those mock question papers and thank you for watching the video if you like this make sure to subscribe my channel also and share it to most of the students it may be helpful for them also thank you